The Chernobyl Exclusion Zone is a vast area in Ukraine around the site of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster. Many settlements became uninhabitable due to high levels of radiation. After the accident at the fourth nuclear reactor, residents of the Chernobyl zone were forced to abandon their homes and relocate. Over time, many villages in the exclusion zone were abandoned. They are no longer marked on Ukrainian topographical maps. They were literally wiped off the face of the earth and became ghosts of the past. The settlements are completely abandoned and are being destroyed by nature. Among small lakes and bogs on the banks of the Brzezinka River is the abandoned village of Ladizici. This village is located 25 kilometers from the destroyed reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. From the town of Chernobyl, the village is 18 kilometers away. Nowadays, Ladizici village has become a ghost of the past. The Chernobyl accident has changed everything. Ladizici village became a radioactive contamination zone. The inhabitants of the village were forced to evacuate urgently, abandoning their lands and houses. Before the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the village had 683 inhabitants. But 35 years after the accident, no one lives here anymore. Today, these wooden houses remain an eerie reminder to us of a bygone era. The people are gone, but their story remains. These houses seem to stand in hope of their owner's return. Some of the buildings are deteriorating, and gardens and orchards have been overgrown. Today, the village of Ladizyki is like a message from another time, from another world. These abandoned villages in the Chernobyl exclusion zone give us a valuable insight into the effects of radiation contamination on the environment and wildlife. Over time, the ecological situation in the village of Ladizici has stabilized. Exposure dose rates here are not high. Wildlife is gradually conquering the areas that humans have left behind. Within 35 years, trees have displaced the grass cover and formed dense shady thickets over people's houses. Pine and birch trees are increasingly overgrowing the open areas of the village. Very soon, the trees will completely take over the village. They will form a dense pine forest, which is a typical landscape for the whole Chernobyl zone. Despite ongoing research and documentation of abandoned sites in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, the area remains virtually inaccessible to the public. Although some parts of the exclusion zone can be visited with a tourist guide, much of the area is still considered unsafe for tourists and people to live in due to high levels of radiation. In the thickets of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, a children's camp called Ferry hides under dense trees and bushes. Before the Chernobyl accident, 
This camp was a popular holiday destination for children who came from all over the country to experience the magic and wonder of the forest. The buildings and facilities where children once vacationed are completely abandoned and deteriorating. Sculptures of dragons and unicorns stand lonely in the forest and are overgrown with bushes. Even 35 years ago, the camp counselors told children tales and legends about good wizards and magical creatures. They took the children on adventures through this forest, teaching them spells and charms. The highlight of the camp was the nightly bonfire, around which the counselors told the children various stories. The children sat around the fire, huddled together, and listened with eyes dilated with wonder to tales of dragons, mermaids, and other mystical creatures. However, everything changed after the Chernobyl disaster. The camp fell into the radioactive contamination zone, and was abandoned. For some time the liquidators lived here during the liquidation of the Chernobyl accident. But today the children's camp is completely abandoned. The buildings and premises are deteriorating under the influence of time and nature. Today, all the premises of the camp are almost ruined and are in an emergency condition. There are legends that in the quiet nights you can still hear children's laughter and conversations here as if the camp was alive again. Nowadays, this children's camp has become a symbol of tragedy and a reminder of the tragic events that took place in 1986.